Hi everybody, let's try it again. This is like take six. I'm not sure what happened, so hopefully you will jump in and find me. Okay, let me try getting me up on my screen. And it just disappeared. Okay, bear with me here. Okay, Jackie, I see you found me again. Everybody else, hopefully you jump in there and can find me. Oh, because I'm not going to be able to see comments. There's Sue. Yay. Okay. February 7th, published by... All right, who else do we have? Cheryl, okay, yay. At least some of you are finding me again. I don't know what happened. I lost signal and nothing on Facebook was working right. So I'm gonna go ahead and put you into the holder as we face down. So bear with me just a minute. Fingers crossed it's working. All right, let's get in here. Okay, as you can see, like everything, I rent to get another phone. Um, so let's get stuff out of the way here and hopefully we are on now. Okay, I can't see comments because it's not allowing me. Or maybe I can't. Okay, there we go. So now I can see comments, I hope. So we'll give everybody else a couple minutes to get back on again. But tonight we're going to go ahead and use the flowering tulips. It is a bundle or it's a whole sweet collection. The stamp set, which I absolutely love. I love the greetings in it. Um, the flowers are really pretty. There is a die set that makes three-dimensional flowers. We're not going to use that tonight. But we are going to use the um, designer paper <clears throat> that goes with it. So here is one side of the six designer papers. Okay. And then let's go ahead and flip it over. And then the back side is kind of different, but there's some cool prints. Really, really like. This one is probably one of my favorites. Both sides of it are so pretty. And then this one is also another fun one. This is the one I'm using tonight. Hi, Debbie. Thanks for joining. Hey, look at the fun like clouds on this one. I don't think that's really what it is, but that's what it looks like to me. Um, some green geometric shapes. Look at the fields of tulips. How pretty is that? Just cutting that as a section on your card. And then some more flowery looking, or not flowery, clouds. That's a pretty print too. I really like that one. And then another, look at that, that's another fun one. That would be a fun scrapbook page too, just putting a picture up here. Okay, so that's the paper that we're going to use. Um, I had received this card from my sister, and I just think that's a really pretty one. This is one of the sheets behind it, and I really liked this flower. And then I saw a fun fold by another demonstrator, um, friend of mine from Minnesota, Terry Gaines, and so I decided we were going to do that. It's a really cool, different fun fold, and then incorporating this flower type on it, okay? So I'm not going to show you ahead of time. I'm just going to pull the pieces out. All right, so I started with a five and a half by seven piece of cardstock that is scored at one and three eighths and five and five eighths. So it's basically one and three eighths from both sides. Okay, I've already embossed both of the side edges and I used the ornate embossing fold, ornate floral embossing folder. Hi Eve, thanks for jumping on and finding me again. Okay, so we're gonna start, we're gonna fold on those score lines and we're gonna crease it good with our bone folder. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side, okay? And then I want to make sure that goes down really good. All right, then I have a piece that is two and three quarters by five and a half, okay? That's going to go in this center section like that, okay? So we're going to go ahead and only on the left side we are going to put a row of adhesive 
Then you want to make sure that it's going to stick down really, really good. And then and I'm just going to double check. Yeah, we're pretty much centered there. And then we're going to attach that. Okay. Hi, Sherry. Thanks for joining. All right. Then I have a piece of the designer paper that is one and a quarter by five and a half. So we're going to put adhesive on the back of this. And that is going to go right into the center section. And we're just going to try to center it side to side. Make sure it's straight. Well, pretty straight. Got it a little crooked, but okay. And so here's our fun fold. Isn't that cute? I just thought that was really kind of a different one we've not done before. Okay, next... And I'm using, this is Fresh Freesia. This is Rich Razzleberry. And then the Flowering Tulips designer paper. So now we've got five more pieces. Okay. We are going to, let's see. We have two Razzleberry. One is two and three quarter by three and a half. And the other one is two and five eighths by three two and seven eighths by three and five eighths. The little bit larger one, and you can see it's just barely, it's an eighth of an inch bigger. That's for the front, okay? And then we have two basic white pieces that are the same size. And so we are going to adhere one of the basic whites to the smaller rich razzleberry. Okay, this is going to be for the inside to write your greeting. So then we're going to attach it in here, kind of centering top and bottom and side to side. But the one trick that you want to make sure is that it's hiding underneath this edge. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put adhesive on the back of that. Thank you guys so much for jumping on and joining me again. I see we have Barb on here. Okay, so we're going to center it, and it's all hidden under there, okay? Now, this right side does not get adhered down, okay? So then we're going to take the other Razzleberry, and then I have a piece of Fresh Freesia that is 2 and 5 eighths by 3 and 3 eighths, and then, again, the piece of basic white. So we're going to start with the basic white, and I'm going to start with my greeting, which is just thinking of you today. We're going to use Memento ink, and we're just going to stamp it like there. And I'm doing the words first because on my first sample, I had stamped the flower first, and it went too far to the left. So I'm doing the words first because then I can arrange my flower so that I know that the words show. Okay, so now we're going to use Razzleberry and we're using kind of the fuller image of the tulip. And we're just going to stamp that over here on the right. And then we're going to pull in <clears throat> Excuse me, fresh freesia, which is a lighter purple. And then we have kind of a heart shaped. We're going to use that and we're going to stamp that. It's going to kind of line like right there with the heart. Okay. And then I didn't like the whites here. So then I went back in and used one of the other stamps that's for another version of the tulip. And I just filled it in so that I didn't have those white spots. And I liked that a little bit better. Okay, now we're going to pull in the leaves and stem. And we're going to use soft succulent. So it's a kind of a lighter green. It pulls the green out of the designer paper. And we're going to start with the stem. And you can kind of see on the stem, there's a closed end and kind of an open end. We're going to use the 
kind of closed end, a little knobby end as the part that's right up beside the flower, like that. And then we have a larger leaf, okay? And we're doing with the rounded part towards the inside. And so that is gonna go right down towards the bottom and it goes right up underneath our words. And then the second one, we are doing again with the rounded towards the inside. So this one's a little bit smaller than the other one. And this one we're gonna pull up a little higher. Isn't it a pretty one, Helen? And thanks, I'm glad you found me again. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a blender. Uh, gosh, it's been a blender pen. It's been a long time since I used these. And what we're gonna do, I, again, I didn't want really the open spot here on the flowers. So we're just gonna pick up a little bit of ink from the stamp pad. And we're gonna fill that in with just a little bit of color. I don't want it really, really dark. Uh-oh, sounds like painting's done. He's closing the can. Not, not as hard as I want to. <laughs> okay. And so again, we're just filling this in. Just really kind of light. I'm starting out as it picks up the heavier ink. I'm starting like in the areas where there is a heavier ink so that it blends it together a little bit better. Okay, like that. And then we can finish assembling the card. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna adhere it flat down onto this one, another piece of fresh freesia. <clears throat> and this one is just an eighth of an inch bigger, so we have just a tiny little bit of border around it. Okay, and we're going to attach it to the Razzleberry with dimensionals. And Becky White, thank you so much for sharing the video again, um, one where we can actually see the project. You guys remember, share, comment, share it with your friends, invite your friends to join us. Um, every Monday night, I do a drawing. So one lucky person is going to get a prize tonight from last week's shares and comments. Okay, this rich Razzleberry piece is a quarter of an inch bigger than the Fresh Freesia so that it will give us a nice little border. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to attach the right side of the flower piece onto the right side of the card, the flap there. We're not attaching any of this. Okay, so what I actually did is just did one line of adhesive and I kind of went over it a second time. Okay, so we're going to do this and then we're just going to center it and attach it. Okay, and so there. Now we got to finish it off. We got to give it a little bit of bling. So we are pulling in the In Color Jewels, and thanks, Annie. We are using the Fresh Freesia gems on it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to put one. Well, I didn't get it. We're going to put one there. We're going to put one there, and then we're going to grab a little one, and we're going to tuck that one right up there. Okay, and so... There is our card all prettied up. Nice little spot to write. And again, just thinking of you can be pretty much any occasion. It can be birthdays. It can be just thinking of you, getting well, um, pretty much anything. It would be a great one even like now for Valentine's Day. Just pop that one in the mail and you're ready to go. Isn't this a pretty color combination, Cheryl? That's exactly. I really, really like it. Okay, now, reminder that, again, I just told you a minute ago, to share, 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 
And this week I'm giving away, I think I did last week these two, um, but I found that I have a couple more. So in colored jewels um, that I will be mailing out and love the cards that fold differently. Well, a couple of you last week had made the suggestion of some fun folds. Linda Vanderspool had said with some of the brights and neutrals and subtles, you know, kind of one each week. But I started out again, I wanted to use the flowering tulips and the new paper. So I started out with that one this time. Um, so one lucky person is going to, I'll put these in the mail tomorrow. And that will be going to Becky White. Becky, thank you so much for, excuse me, for joining and for sharing every week. If you can pop me a message with your address or an email with your address, I will get these out in the mail to you right away. And then next week, I will have another fun little prize for you. Okay, yay. Um, that's it for this week. The All Together collection is still available. Um, we've got a couple weeks. Next Monday night is Valentine's Day. So I will still go live. Um, I have to kind of look and check with Tony. Maybe I'll go a little bit earlier um, next week. So, or we'll just see how it goes. And we'll see what, what kind of fun projects we can come up with for next week. Again, if you guys have suggestions of things that you would like to see, pop those in the comments, pop me an email and let me know. And until next week, happy stamping.